Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Learn IT Profession. Today we will learn how to authenticate a Linux machine with Domain Controller, Windows Domain Controller. I have already uh, installed the package, required packages for uh, authenticate a Linux machine with the Windows Domain Controller environment. The in my scenario, the Windows Domain Controller is Windows Server 2012 R2. This is, and the domain name is. Pakistan local one and uh, the IP of the domain controller is 192.168.10.221 that is you can check from network and sharing center change advanced setting and go to details this is 192.168.10.221 this is the IP of domain controller okay now authenticate a Linux machine uh just uh, uh, i've already installed the packages so need to be configured network configurations uh for this type the command nmtui enter edit connection and go to the interface then edit it the ip of this machine is 192.168.10.224 you need to change our dns server in my case, DNS server IP is 192.168.10.221 that I have already shown. We need to configure also our search domain that is my domain name is pakistan.local1 pakistan.local1 then we need to Press OK to save the configuration and go back. Then OK. Just uh, restart the network on uh, network service. Type the command system CTL space restart space network manager dot service. This is CentOS 8. In uh, other words, you can say the uh, community version of Red Hat 8. If you use uh, Red Hat 7 or CentOS 7, you need to type the command system CTL space restart space network. Okay. To check the status of network service, just type the remove re restart and type the status. Okay. This is the status of the service. Press Q to quit. Next thing is to check the, that if your result.com file configure the name servers and the domain name, you need to type the command get space forward slash et forward slash dot com. There you see the search domain domain name is pakistan.local1 and name server is 192 192.168.10.221. And I am showing you already, I have installed already the package required packages. Uh, to authenticate a Linux machine, uh, or you can say Red Hat 7, uh, Red Hat 8, CentOS 7, CentOS 8, or Red Hat 9 machine, authenticate with a Windows domain controller. And the domain controller should be uh, Windows Server 2012 or 2, Windows Server 2016, Windows Server 2019, and Windows Server 2022. In my case, it's, this is a Windows Server 2012. Part. Okay. Uh, that's it. Uh, you need then you need to check the SNNS configuration. Also, if you want to uh, more detail about the how to authenticate a Linux machine or Red Hat machines, CentOS seven CentOS machines with the domain control uh, domain control environment, please read my article. I have already written an article that how to join RHEL eight to Windows Active Directory domain services. This is complete description in detail with images you can read and easily authenticate your Linux machine with a Windows domain control environment. Okay. To check the SNNS configuration, uh, I've already configured the SNNS configuration that is uh, in permissive mode. SNNS should be in permissive mode if you want to disable it because uh, enforcing mode just require uh, some boolean values to 
authenticate a Linux machine with domain control environment. If you don't want to provide a uh, boot val uh, boolean values to machine, you just uh, configure the SNS in permissive mode. I am already configured SNS in permissive mode. Okay. Now you need to join the machine, uh, or you can say authenticate the machine. That command is realm space join space dash u I am using a user administrator and uh, attribute dash v and provide a full qualified domain name in my environment the full qualified domain name is windows ws2012 r2 ws2012 r2 dot pakistan dot local one. I show you the full qualified domain name just go to uh, system properties this is full qualified domain name ws2012 r2 dot pakistan dot local okay so the command to join an uh, authentic join or you can say authenticate a machine let's machine with domain control environment the command is real m space join space dash u user is administrator space dash v and the full qualified domain is ws2012 r2 dot function just press enter okay the mistake is uh, just uh, provide a capital u remove a small u then provide a capital u just press enter it's require a password press enter now it's going to authenticate a linux machine to windows domain environment here you see the machine successfully enrolled with real real in my case real is pakistan dot local one to show a complete configuration go to the file sssd dot com Let's see uh, the domain uh, full qualified domain name. Full qualified name of my server is Windows Server 2012 one and its AD domain is Pakistan local one, and its gross CLM is Pakistan local. Okay. If you want, uh, uh, if you want to log in uh, with a domain user, just press uh, Control D. And provide an IP. In my case, the IP is 192.168.10.24. Provide an administrator user, or you and any other user, domain user that you want to log in, because uh, at this time no restriction for the login. So any user of the domain log in into the Linux machine, because it is authenticated with a domain control environment. So I am using administrator. Direct Pakistan or local one. Let's require a password. This. This. Now you see hey, it, it is a complicated. If you want to check its uh, folders create in a home directory, just uh, go to the home directory. Then press type ll. You see, here are two users available. Who is that is a local user of the machine and the domain user administrator at that Pakistan local one. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like uh, uh, my video, please subscribe my channel and comment uh, for more videos. Thank you so much. Please like and comment on videos and subscribe our channel Learn IT Profession for receive new videos notifications.